Well, hello guys. I hope you're all having a great day. On the forefront of this video, I do want to say a quick word of remembrance since it is 9-11. Um, I think that's the most respectful thing to do. We cannot forget where we were, what we were doing, and all the lives lost on that day. Um, we also shouldn't forget the type of people that we were when we woke up on the 12th either. That being said, I want to hop right into the video because I have some things to go and do, but man, the debate last night was an absolute dumpster fire. It was, it was awful. It was maddening. I think I screamed at my TV a multitude of times. Um, <laughs> let's, I don't even know where to start. I didn't, I didn't take notes on it. So this is just going to be ad libbed. Okay. And, um, you know, there were many times last night that I, of course I was yelling at the TV because there were very many blatant lies being told over and over again. Um, these are the same. She, she, Kamala always talks about Trump's tired playbook, but the fact of the matter is her tired playbook consists of the same repetitive lies about project 2025, about the abortion bans, about all the things about the, um, and very fine people on both sides from the, uh, just, they always go over the same things. And to this, I have to say, I believe this is some sort of social experiment that they're doing in real life on mass scale. I really think that they want to see if they continue to manufacture and sell these lies, that people will continue to buy them, even though they've been proven false and that people will continue to hate Donald Trump even more. Um, so I, I really think that this is mind control. This is um, brainwashing. This is feeding people lies. And they really, really, really are good at projection because everything that they blame Trump for is what they're doing. <sighs> My problem is last night was Trump's opportunity to really shine because he knew what he was going up against. ABC, shame on you. You were absolutely awful. You didn't turn off the mics like you were supposed to. You um, spoon-fed Kamala questions. And at that same point, they would try to fact check Donald Trump. They, they would stop and say, well, no, that's not true. But they never did that to her. So when she mentioned Project 2025 twice, Donald Trump had to defend himself. He had to fact check, fact check her himself and say, you know, I have no parts of that. And here we go lying again. They never fact checked her. They tried to fact check him. I think it was two times. And um, yeah, it was, I think, twice that they tried to fact check him. And it was just, I mean, it was really, it was really two to one, you know, it was really, they were trying to take him down. They were trying to get him flustered and they succeeded. They succeeded in getting him flustered. And there was a multitude of times that I wished I could have just grabbed him by the shoulders and said, get it together, man, come on, pay attention. You're better than this. But he did allow them to get under his skin. And for that, I'm, hopefully upset about. Um, I wanted him to answer the questions. I wanted people to see, you know, what we see when we go to the rallies, what we see in him as an individual. I wanted the facts. I wanted him to give facts. I wanted him to ignore all of the things that they were trying to do. You know, she's a prosecuting attorney. So she's used to trying to convince people that that person is guilty. That person is bad. And, and that really, that really, um, shined through last night. You could really see that part of her. She's trained to speak to a jury, which of course I think was the people asking the questions and she's trained to convince them one way or another. And I feel like 
that's what she was trying to do. But, you know, I can see through, I can see the lies because I've educated myself. Many of you can see the lies because you guys have educated yourselves. But just think of how many people were watching and they were buying it. And that's, that's the shame of it all. Um, I don't think anybody's mind changed last night. Everybody still knows who they're voting for. But this was an opportunity for him to really get a few more people on board. Um, and I, I don't think that that is going to happen from last night anyways. I hope that there is another debate. I hope that there is. In a way, I don't know if I can actually stomach another one. But I hope that there is and I hope that he can get his stuff together so that people can see what his plans are. You know, we have already heard his plans we know what he's you know what he's planning on doing um i think her plans have just came out and um they're what she didn't copy from him are very um vanilla they're very uncreative in you know and communist um i do think it's funny last night he did mention that she was a marxist and she just raised her eyebrows at him like oh um, she didn't deny that at all, which is very telling. Um, but she also couldn't answer questions. You know, she, she couldn't answer anything. The very first question they ask is, do you think you've done a good job in three and a half years that you're there? And she didn't answer that because she knows the answer is no, I've not done a good job in the last three and a half years, you know, but, um, gosh, it was just a dumpster fire. What do you guys think down below? Leave the comments down below. I I I was in a bit of disbelief. Like I expected lies and stuff, but I I, I didn't expect the same blatant, bold faced lies being told um, directly to you. But that's what we got. Um, it was very one sided. I can see why she agreed to do the ABC one and not Fox or whoever else. Um, I think CNN surprisingly enough did a much better job. I think the Biden and Trump, um, debate was, they didn't spoon feed either. And if anybody needed the spoon feeding at that time, it was president Biden. However, um, they, they didn't seem to be as one-sided as the ABC one. Um, I just really, I don't have anything good to say about the entire thing. Uh, I really, I really just don't have anything good to say about it. None of it, none of it, uh, none of it was very good at all. Um, the only thing that I really liked and I was begging for him, I'm sitting there going, please say it, please say it, please say it, please say it, was he did say that um, Vladimir Putin endorsed her. So, I mean, there's that, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and, but there were so many lost moments that he really could have sold, you know, his platform. He could have really drove home points and, and things like that. And there were so many missed opportunities, really. It was just, it was very difficult to watch, to be honest with you. I felt like, I felt like I was, at a daycare with two three-year-olds that were fighting over the same toy truck. I don't have anything else to say about it. It's It was really just a dumpster fire. It was a steaming pile of cow manure is what it was. <laughs> I just... and, and, and it's sad, actually. I laugh because if I didn't laugh, I would cry. But honestly, it's really sad because this country at this point deserves direction. Um... We deserve people to behave like adults. Um, there were times last night I said, could I please be the people asking the questions? Like, I want to ask the questions. I have questions and are not being answered. And when the questions aren't being answered, I want to say, hey, hey, squirrel brain, back to the question. Um, there were points last night that I just wanted to rip my hair out from frustration. And I think everybody else feels this way. And it's discouraging. I mean, it doesn't change my mind at all. I'm just disappointed, I think, is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm disappointed. Sometimes I think I should run for president, although I would not. I would not. 
number one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tolerate the BS that goes on. I, I, I couldn't do it. And two, I couldn't stand being around that many people that much. I, it's not for me. But in that same breath, I think I could do a better job, maybe. Um, at least a better job communicating with the people in this country. Because that's what we really need. We need somebody that communicates with us. Donald Trump communicates with us fantastic when we're at his rallies, but he lets people get under his skin like last night. And um, it's frustrating to watch. Like I said, it does not change my opinion at all. My mind is made up. It's concrete, set in stone. Um, but that being said, sometimes you just want somebody to look at you and be like, here it is. Here's everything. Um, let me give you a big warm hug because it's all going to be okay. We're going to get through this and it's going to be great. You want somebody to keep that calm, level head. And um, when you don't get that, sometimes it's kind of frustrating, I suppose. Um, sitting here watching all the lantern flies. You know, don't you dare land on me. Usually at this time of year, we have either stink bugs or ladybugs all over the house but I guess we're being plagued with the lantern flies they're kind of pretty though I'm not gonna lie but I don't like them and boy we have a lot of them there's some of them chilling right over here crawling this way yeah regardless um yeah, so I don't really have a whole lot to report on that because I just really was disappointed, I suppose. Um, there's not really any good points. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, guys. I'm at a loss. You guys have to help me out in the comments down below. Anyways, um, there's not much to catch you up with here on the homestead. I have the sheep and breeding groups. I really haven't done too, too much this week. I'm about to go mow hay, so I will do a video of that. Um, yeah, I'm just going right across the road. Our lovely neighbor has allowed us to mow over there, so that's nice. I don't have to travel very far, and yeah, we will get that going, but gosh, I wish I had something really good to talk about. Like, I wish there were so many good points that I could that I could report back. But there's not. It was sad. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I, I really, I, I, I don't know. I'm in a very somber mood and I think part of it is because it's 9-11. Um, so that, that always sits back here on my conscious that was probably the first big um, impactful thing that I've seen in my lifetime. I'm sure other things have happened, but I was young, so I didn't really um, pay attention. But 9-11, uh, I was sitting in my freshman college year dorm watching it happen on TV. You know, classes were canceled for the day, and yeah, that was that was eye-opening. I actually had um, just enrolled, enlisted in the Army Reserves the month prior. So, you know, you join up in peacetime and then you're like, what the heck just happened? Like, holy crap. But um, that's, a, that's a story for another time. Yeah. Um, so I think today is a somber day as it is. It's just something that is in the air. And I think we all feel that. So guys, I'm hoping the best. I'm hoping that this country can get turned around. I want that for everybody. I'm just tired of the constant bickering and arguing and hating and fighting. And it's just really disgusting. It, I'm an emotional, I'm an, I'm an emotionally sensitive person and it, it wears me out. It, it does. It wears me out. I can't stand the bickering and stuff. I, I don't like to do that in real life, so I really, when I have to watch it, I, it, it drives me a bit crazy. It, 
I don't want to say it like depresses me or anything like that, but it just, it knocks the, the air out of my sails, I guess, if you will. I think probably a lot of us feel like that. I get a lot of comments and emails from people that say that they're just exhausted. They're tired and you just want this to kind of be over. And I really don't know what to say except for I think it's only getting started because I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. If it ever gets better, eventually it gets better. It has to get better, right? It can't be like this forever. But also, it makes me internally grateful that I live in the middle of nowhere on my own little spit of land where I don't have to leave all that often if I don't want to. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's frustrating. Anyways, I am going to hop off of here and I'm going to take the camera with me because we're going to go hook up the tractor and the hay bine and we're going to go mow some hay and I'm going to take you with me. So I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I have a feeling many of you kind of feel the exact same way I do because I was commenting a bit on Facebook last night and all the comments were... Oh, look, a little hummingbird, buddy. See? Oh, he's so close. He was just right there. Is that a sign? Is that a sign that I should, should be having a better day? I mean, I did have two really great Amish donuts today, so that, like, crushed my diet. It's forgiven. Amish donuts don't have calories. I don't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go mow some hay and enjoy sitting on my tractor for a while. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.